All right, we are here outside Pubble Skull in Verschkena in Kinmare Town. The principal of the school is Dermot Healy. Dermot, how are you getting on? I'm great, Owen. Thank you for coming to this beautiful part of the world. People are flocking into this town over the last couple of days. Journalists in particular trying to get to the bottom of what makes Kinmare so successful. Have you got the secret for them so far? Um, I think it's just a good crop of players coming through at the right time and hopefully they're inspiring younger players in, in the underage structures in, in all the clubs that they want to be the next Johnny O'Shea's or the Tyke Morley's or the Spillane's or whoever like Gavin Crowley, uh, Tyke Morley, that's who they want to emulate and um, they will I hope in time to come so there's more to come with a bit of luck. So this is a, a mixed school with uh, four to 500 students traditionally, five and a half, uh, 550 students at the moment, I understand. Yeah. And how many inter-county players in the men's team do you have at the moment? So there's there's six on the panel and uh, one more, Donald O'Sullivan, on the extended panel. Like So um, it's great. It's fantastic. Like, you know, we've, for years, I'm here over 20 years, and y you dream about having someone in an All-Ireland team. Stephen was, Stephen O'Brien was there in uh, 2014, but uh, like to have six, seven of them on the team and one lady as well in the All-Ireland as well, Julia O'Sullivan. Um, it's fantastic. We're doing something right, There's something in the water. Yeah. You know? uh, it's obviously a case that the, the, the clubs uh, in this area are fantastic, but I was chatting to Mickey Ned O'Sullivan as well, and you can't be too modest when it comes to some of the coaching that they actually got in the school as well. Oh yeah, no, I think I think like you give huge praise to the uh, club structure, underage and stuff like that. They come into us at twelve, thirteen, and uh, the, most of the skills are there, like you know. Uh, but we've been lucky, I suppose. Like um, I've been here since two thousand and one, and when I came first, you know, it was in an era of when teachers um, were involved in GA and stuff like that. And it was fantastic, and we had great servants like Timmy Sheehan from Temple No and. Roland Rogers, who's from Ballymac in Tralee, um, they, they were involved in senior teams. We got to an All-Ireland C Colleges final with them, I think, in 2007. Stephen O'Brien on that team got, was injured for the final. So there was, there was lots of raw material there. And Paul O'Connor was another one that got to carry minors. Mike Tim O'Sullivan. They were, but there was ones every now and then. Um, but then, like, teachers are busy and they give up training football teams and... We went for outside coaches, a uh, lot of controversy over it at the time, uh, but we were lucky to find, uh, I call him a nice lunatic at times, Tom will th thank me for that, um, Tom O'Connor, who himself this weekend is on the 25-year team from 1997, he was a selector at the time, and Tom came on board and uh, he brought a totally different structure to it, like the first thing he wanted was physios and how can we get more finance for teams and stuff like that? I was looking at him going like, Tom, that's not how it works in schools, but uh, he convinced me otherwise. And like he would have brought in Jack O'Connor for training sessions. He would have brought in Donny Buckley for training sessions. He knew all of these guys, Mickey Ned, as you mentioned already. And, and all of a sudden, the football training was of a different standard and a different um, level. And um, like that first year in 2010, we won the All-Ireland Sea Colleges. Uh, fantastic. Um, Tyke Morley was on that team. Um, the two Spillans were a bit young at that stage. Gavin Crowley was young, you know, um, but it was it was great. And um, that, you know, when you win in All-Ireland, you want to do it again and you want to do it again. Um, we haven't done it since, but we've won seven or eight Munster titles since. But um, they're tough to win, especially get out of Kerry and stuff like that, you know. But but the, the training that's going on, I think, is top class. And um, and that shows in the success that we've got. And it's not just in football, it's in basketball or athletics as well in the school. So um, it's great. Who was the most academically talented of the crop of footballers? God, what a really good question. Well, I, I would say this much and genuinely say this. Those who are involved in team sports manage to get a lifestyle balance as well somewhere. And they are focused and they, they don't forget about their academic side of things as well. Um, Stephen does the answer to the question. I would say Stephen yeah. O'Brien. Yeah, yeah, he was he was a really good student in school, and the rest of them were good as well. Tyg and Shawnee. I better mention them all. No, I'll be in big yeah. trouble, won't I? Like you know, um, but they all they all were able to balance you know their sport, and I think that comes from playing with team sports as well. Like you know that if they're involved in team, they have goals and stuff like that set. So, yeah, no, 
It's a really trick question, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a horrible <laughs> one, but uh, I'm glad you actually uh, answered it. Um, what's interesting, and this has been something that it was Michael Meehan who commented on it on one of our shows last week, the, the lack of buzz in schools, because obviously you're, you're closed yeah. at the moment. Uh, what, what's your opinion all, on all that? Obviously, you would have experienced a good few All-Irelands in the 2000s and in, during the 2010s as, as principal of this school. Yeah, uh, yeah, it is a pity. Like, Because, I mean, you could just imagine uh, if we were all back in school like, and you were interviewing me today, the whole school would probably be out in green and gold here or something like that um so it is disappointing but it is what it is and look july it's brilliant there's a great atmosphere in kenmare and um yeah it's a pity that the school isn't open f to to build up that atmosphere as well in school like you know but um Does please god difference like in, in in terms of people getting inspired or like I know that sometimes it's overplayed but even in a very small way does it make a difference having oh. schools open during all Ireland in 2019 and we had it twice because it went to a replay and whatever else you know I mean the excitement about the all Ireland final in schools like is just there you can feel it there's tension are you going to the match yeah, we have colours day here and everyone dresses in their Kerry jerseys except for the odd few rebels that frequent us here you know um but um no it yeah it, you do miss that all right like you know but but it is what it is at the moment like you know and if we're lucky enough to win and please god we will be um you can come down again for the homecoming because that would be really special like you know if we manage to win uh, what i find really interesting when i walk around Khmer is that uh, nobody's been uh, petty enough to just put down the Khmer lads it's the Khmer lads and the temple no lads on the on the same posters I, is that just you know a postponement of local divides here or or w what is the relationship like between temple no and, and Khmer generally on the football pitch uh, well i'm from Tralee, so there was always good local rivalries there between austin stacks and kearns or Ahalis and John Mitchell's maybe and no Nigel. So yeah, it's there in local rivalries. Uh, Temple No versus Kenmare is probably the big one. Two tribes go to war, as they say. But uh, when when they come into this school and they play under Public School Inverskena umbrella, um, that's been great. And there's no problem with the players. And you know, it's it's built up and it's 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 it is what it is. You know, um, it's good. It probably drives them on. You know. Um, but it is there, and it's obvious that it's there at times. But yeah, most people just get on with it, and uh, certainly from the players' point of view, they're delighted to play for their clubs. If Ken Mayer are playing Temple No, that's a big, big rivalry match, you know. Um, being an outsider is, is is probably a bit easier to to watch it, like you know. But yeah, yeah. Uh, um, certainly not can get involved in some of, of of what goes on there, like you know. But um, look, it is it's fantastic though as well, and you know all these guys are great buddies outside of it, like you know. So. There's no worries. They're all playing for Kerry this weekend, and they've all played, as I said, for public school in Vishkane over the years as well. Like you know, so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what's the as an outsider then? What's the secret to the current Temple No success in particular for such a small place to be producing so many intercounty players is remarkable. And I know they have all that history. Yeah, and I suppose history is part of it as well. Like you know, and um, look, for your hats off to them. They've done fantastic for a small area and stuff like that. But it's it's in their DNA as well, and. Um, underage a couple of years ago they had a fantastic crop of players and uh, they're seeing that now as well and like like they've done very very well at club level wise as well like you know winning all ireland junior titles and getting to other finals you know it's it's been fantastic for them and um you know they've great great coaches there as well and and a great structure there in their club as well like you know so i'm i'm delighted to see them doing well and certainly i'd be cheering them on when they're when they're in the, in those junior finals and stuff like that, when they're playing Ken Mayer, it's a bit more difficult, all right. Uh, and if they were playing Cairns or Rallies, it might be a bit difficult as well. But not, no, no, I'd be, I'd be supporting them, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a Stax man, so. No, I'm a Cairns or Rallies. Oh, sorry. I'm an Ari, as they say, like, you know, and very proud one, like, you know, so, uh, yeah. Uh, the other part, then, um, when you talk about kind of knowing that those Temple No lads were coming through and that there was a good crop of youngsters, what's the, the future like? For this particular area as well, I know you had a big win in, in Clarny last night, and Kenmare yeah. could be one of the, the big forces over the the next yeah. few years. So yeah, underage in 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 Kenmare is very strong, lots of numbers, um, and look, demographics is is hitting Temple No as well, like you know, because people buy houses there, they have kids there, kids go on, and the kids don't buy houses back there again. So the demographics are smaller in Temple No, and Kenmare is growing, like so. The, we have the numbers in Temp in Kenmare at the moment, like. And as I said, like this present crop of Kerry footballers are inspiring all of these. Like we played lucky enough to play in the East Kerry final last night in Division One in Fitzgerald Stadium, and like 
every one of those thought they were the Shawnee O'Shea's or the Gavin Crowley's or the Stephen O'Brien's last night and um, you know when they play in Fitzgerald Stadium they want to play there again you know so um, that all helps and then hopefully the school helps as well with the, with the training that they do and the competitive level COVID hasn't been good to us in terms of you know, competitions were cancelled, not finished, um, condensed into a very short time frame this year. Um, you know, we got to a Munster under 16 final this year, uh, which was played in a blitz format in the end. Like, you know, with uh, look, I think the, the, the present crop of students we have in public school in Vishkena, they're coming good as well. And there's, there's one other problem as well, is like it's under 19 uh, senior level in in. And that's difficult, you know, because a lot of ours leave at 17 or 18. Shawnee. Like Shawnee, exactly, like, you know. Um, and then they're playing against two years older than them, and that, that, that's difficult, you know. Yeah, despite the challenges, we don't seem to be doing too bad. Uh, Dermot, thanks very much yep, for your time, and enjoy so. Sunday. Yeah, thanks very much. Up the kingdom.